Indigents from 23 local government areas, the council chairman and members of the National Assembly are challenging the appointment of Justice Daisy Okocha as administrative chief judge. Justice Okocha was appointed by the National Judicial Council to replace the suspended chief judge, Justice Peter Agumagu, whose suspension is still being contested in court. It seems to be an era of protest. This time it's coming from River State, where indigents from 23 local government areas are protesting the appointment of Justice Daisy Okocha as the administrative chief judge of River State by the National Judiciary Council, NJC. Outraged by the appointment, protesters led by Senator Magnus Abe claimed that the appointment was done through the back door. The person nominated by the NJC has a brother who is a member of the NJC and is being supported by the powers that be in Abuja yes, with intent to destabilize the government of River State. They have insisted that they will appoint a judge. They will appoint a judge without the governor and without the River State House of Assembly. Yeah. And Rivers people want to stand there to say no. The protesters are alleging that the appointment of Leonard Judd Daisy Okocha as the administrative judge of River State, pending the resolution of all the legal issues surrounding the appointment of a substantive chief judge, is unconstitutional. Why would they want to appoint a judge that is already having court processes and litigations on her. Why? What is their motive? We believe that their motive is evil. And we are concerned because the ordinary litigants of River State are suffering as a result of what NJC is doing in River State. Why have they picked River State? They want to politicize the issue of appointing a chief judge for what purpose? In River State, the tradition is that the State Judiciary Service Commission recommends a candidate to the National Judiciary Council, who then forwards the name to the governor, who is at liberty to accept or decline the recommendation. In this case, the protesters alleged the process was not followed. The NJC is yet to respond to the allegation.